Alright guys, bring a new video on filtration in the aquarium. Just a basic video of uh, um, basic things that most of you know. If you don't know, then you're going to learn. Um, so I'm going to talk about... Um, one sec. Alright, um, I'm going to talk about hang on back canisters, sponges, and under gravel. So I'll start off with the um, hang on the back filters, is, and that's what I have right there. Um, this is good for medium-sized aquariums, to small and big if you want to. Um, they're very cost-efficient. This was, I believe, 15 20 bucks, I think, around there, but this is a good filter. Um, so you have your mechanical and chemical right here. So it removes the waste mechanically and then provides um, carbon to make the water smell better and to polish the water. Um, then you have your biological, which is this grid right here. And some of the biological is inside the, um, the um, pad here too. But that holds your, uh, bio your biological filtration and that takes out ammonia. It basically breaks down ammonia into nitrite and then nitrite into nitrate and ammonia and nitrite are more poisonous to your fish but you can remove nitrate with a weekly water change so that's no big deal um, then those are the main three but this has also wet dry right here this little thing um, and that actually adds oxygen if you can see um, there's sometimes little bubbles but there's good agitation um, most planet tanks have these because they're simple um, they I don't know, I just see them more often in planted tanks. Um, then I'll talk about uh, canister filtration, which is basically a, like a canister, um, and it has layers of filtration, such as uh, mechanical, biological, and chemical, which I just, which the same thing as the hang on back, but um, in a canister form. And, um,. They are more often used for bigger tanks because they can really get some serious water flow. Um, and then you basically just have an intake pipe, which is pretty much mostly the same as that one. But then normally there's a spray bar, which is the output. Um, and that's basically like the same thing as the uh, hang on back, but in a canister form, like I said. More expensive too. Um, normally like $100 or more for a good one. So, um, yeah. Then we have your sponge filter, which is basically an air pump, which I have in there. You can't see it. Um, it's an air pump, and that pumps air through a. There's a sponge at the bottom, and then it. I. I'm not. I don't understand these as much, but they. Uh, they create. It creates a suction. So basically, it's. It's mas It's only mechanical and biological. No chemical in that one. So it just, you have your little sponge, then the air goes down and it bubbles out the top, which also adds surface agitation to provide oxygen in the tank. And then it just basically sucks stuff in um, through the sponge, removes particles, and also the sponge is your biological filtration to remove uh, ammonia. And that is more common in the breeding tanks or very small tanks. Um, mostly breeding because the fry can't really get sucked up by the, the sponge like they can in that. So, um, those are really cheap. Like, uh, like the pump is more, the most expensive, which is like 10 bucks to more. Um, and the sponge is normally like a couple bucks. And you can replace that whenever. But I think you might remove your biological filtration if you did that, so I wouldn't. Um, then you have less common, which is under gravel filtration. Um, it's basically kind of the same as uh, same concept as the um, same concept as the sponge filter, but uh, you get it's under the gravel, so you have like a like a I don't know how to describe it. It's a uh, kind of grid thing on the bottom, and then you put your substrate on top of it. And then um, you have your air pump pumping into like a little uh, hole thing, just like the uh, sponge. And then um, it pretty much sucks down, and your 
substrate bed is your media. So instead of a sponge on the sponge filter, you get a um, sand or gravel, which holds your biological and removes the waste. So it kind of piles up. And then you can uh, do like a gravel vacuum to remove um, the waste out of the gravel. And then you can also, I've seen um, little carbon packets you could put up in the under gravels. So you could get mechanical, biological, and um, uh, chemical out of those. So basically that's a brief little wrap up on filtration. Um, I, I recommend a hang on back, simplest, um, definitely cost efficient, um, for a good, like my 36 gallon, I have a 40 gallon rated one and a 10 gallon rated one, so it's got good filtration, and the 40 gallon one was like 30 bucks, I think, at the most, possibly 25, so... Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, canisters, big tanks. Although it's getting popular, I I like them. Um, but m my my opinion is the hang on back for sure. Most people use it. So there's a quick wrap up on filtration. I hope you liked it. Um, please like this video, comment if you want, and then uh, subscribe. Thanks.